It's playtime! <laughs> yes, it's playtime! Is, it is the 13th day. Can you imagine? Oh, you know, I'm proud of myself for this challenge to have some play in my day every day for 13 days. And uh, Valentine is tomorrow. Valentine is tomorrow. Can I be more, more hearty than this? Can you see my heart, all these hearts here? All these hearts. And here I have hearts. <laughs> and can you, can you see that heart here? Am I a sweetheart? Yes, I'm getting ready for tomorrow. And getting the atmosphere here ready for tomorrow. What else I have as a heart? Oh yeah, I have here one more heart. Heart, heart. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to show you what is this here above. You see that piece that is above? It looks like two people in red, as if they are walking in, in love. Yeah, this is how I see this piece, the ceramic art. Hmm. And this is another day that we remind ourselves to put some play in our day. Did you put some play in your day? What kind of play you put in your day? Share there. I, I, you know what? I saw that me, so many people shared these videos. Thank you so much. I'm so, so happy that I made your day and that I put something that is valuable in your day, some play in your day. Continue sharing them. And after tomorrow, after the, this, uh, oh, this um, challenge finish, we maybe will continue doing something. We'll continue, you know, having some fun and some play. We'll see. Share, tell me, tell me how you feel about this challenge. Write to me, put some comments and share. How did you feel about putting some play in your day? Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for all this, um, you know, energy that we have, you know, that yes, playfulness is something to, to value. Playfulness is something that uh, yes, playfulness is something that makes difference in our days. When we put playfulness, it's easier to take life. It's healthier for us. It helps our relationships. It helps us to learn easier, to go through our problems easier. Today I was thinking about some problems, you know, how to overcome some, some challenges that I have. And I decided to, to overcome it with a play, you know, to, to decide that I'm going to jump, you know. To, and the person who was on the other side of the talk said, really? Wow, you're funny. Yes, I decided that, you know, this is the way I'm going to overcome a problem, to find a playful way. And in this episode here today, I want to remind you about playfulness of words, words that we are using. You know that words consist only about 7% in communication. Most of the, let me put this, so most of our communication is in our gestures, in our expressions, in the energy that we show in our body. So 93% of the communication is actually not words. Words is, are, you know, they're coming very, very uh, little. They, they, the input is very little. However, that we have so much wisdom put in words. There are so many uh, poetry and books that we, we learn and we, and we bring to stages. Uh, we read them, so words are really important in our lives. However, in communication, we can play with words. And we can play knowingly or not knowingly. What about that? Let's say uh, your partner asks you, 
Do you agree with that, darling? And you say, Yes, darling, I agree with that. <laughs> or you might say, Yes, darling, I agree with that. Or maybe you can say, Yes, darling, I agree. I agree with that. <laughs> How many different things I said with the same words. Yes, darling, I agree with that. But, you know, with these three ways, I said three different things. With the first, I said, no, I don't agree with all at all, but I'm saying it because of you. With the second, what did I say with second? Yes, yes, I agree so much. And with the third, I say, I not only I agree, you know, I'm so attracted to what you're saying. <laughs> so, with words, we can play. And that's a challenge that I would, you know, I would give you to, to think about. How are you going to use the words to play with the words? Did you ever thought of that? That, you know, that you can play with the words and maybe express different, different emotions? So next time when you're using some words, try to play with that. Put some emotion Put more than needed emotions so you can kind of express fully what you think behind the words. That's the playfulness. And because Valentine is coming and because I prepare my, you know, for all this Valentine with that, you know, with that camera looking at this couple there, maybe this, this here, this piece, I really love this. I have it for many years and I, I love this. Um, so that reminds me of, uh, of love. And I wanted to, to read you something. I wanted to read you a poetry so you can prepare yourself for tomorrow. To, to think of, you know, some poetic way of expressing your love through words. That's why I want to read you this poetry. The, this poem is by Sherry Medina. I found it on um, online and the poem is called My Only Love. Since the first day we met, I knew you were the one. God answered my prayers. You came down from above. You gave me your heart. You gave me your trust. From that very moment, it was more than just lust. Your sweet, loving words can never be compared. I'm your forever partner, my soul I have bared. Never put into question any of my feelings being true. I have found my one and only baby. That is you. And with this poem, I would like to wish you happy Valentine tomorrow. Be happy, be loved, be in love. And I'm Maria. And see you next time.